Today I just wanted to go over an issue uh, and solution I had with my uh, XP software. Uh, it was not connecting to the internet and I found a, uh, a solution. So basically this is my XP computer. It's, I know it's ancient. I mean it's maybe 15 years old. But I like it. It works. It always worked perfectly. Um, and I just use it to connect to the internet. Nothing special. So it always served my purpose. And um, I always had it connected to a Netgear router. And it worked perfectly for years. But then a few months ago, I decided to switch my um, network providers. And I, um, I ended up going with uh, an Xfinity a, um, router. And once I installed the Xfinity uh, gateway, Everything else in my house worked perfectly. Everything, you know, connected right away. But for some reason, with this XP computer, it would not recognize my network. Just no matter what I would do, it just would not recognize it. And I, I don't know why. I tried troubleshooting it, and it just would not recognize it. Um, so that was a problem. Because I need this to do my work. So I tried to how to find a solution. So... I did some research and what I came up with, I ended up uh, buying a um, this USB adapter. So this adapter, um, when I got it, uh, it came actually with a little um, disc. And this computer actually still allows me to put in... Uh, you know, floppy disk, so, well, not floppy disk, you know, CD. So, um, once I installed it, it actually brought up a, in the wireless connections, in your network connections, it actually will bring up a additional network connection. And it might say, mine said uh, network connection number three. And it, once I got that new connection, it actually did recognize my new network. And it worked great. Um, the only thing you do have to remember is on the current wireless connection that you have, you just want to right-click on it and just hit disable because you don't want two different um, connections. So just disable your current wireless connection and only use the connection that's coming with the USB adapter. So for me, that worked perfectly. Um, I was able to connect immediately and I was on. But I did come up with a, another issue. Uh, for some reason, uh, you know, I always ke I kept this in the USB port. You know, I kept the, uh, and when I would shut down my uh, laptop and I would open it up again, this would not power on immediately. It would be dead. So I'd have to unplug it and plug it back in for it to start powering on. Now it's not the worst thing in the world, but it's kind of annoying. I just want the Wi-Fi to just instantaneously, you know, connect. So what I then did is I bought this um, USB powered hub. It was like five bucks, you know, on eBay. No big deal. So um, when I got this. I then plug this into the USB port and then plug the USB adapter into here and I left it on. And I guess what that did was I guess it provided enough juice so when the laptop opened up it provided enough juice to wake this up and automatically power on. And it actually did work. It powered on immediately and instantly connected to Wi-Fi. So I didn't have to um, manually plug it in. So that's how it's been for the last couple months and it's been working perfectly. Uh, no issues and I've been happy. I mean for you know a five dollar hub and a seven dollar you know USB um, connection I mean well well worth it. So uh, that was my solution to uh, this kind of unique problem with a very old computer.